Hi, it's Mark Lewandowski from PDC, and I'm really excited to continue our series that we've done in the past on the very best things that you can grill at home. Today, we're going to focus on one of my favorite things to grill in the world, and that's tuna on the grill. We're going to do a couple of things. Our first series, our first component of this series is going to be how to select a really good piece of tuna. Next is how do you prepare it and grill it. And third, we're going to talk about a sauce that you can make at home that when you dip your tuna in it, you are going to love it. Everyone's going to love that tuna. Well, let's talk a little bit about tuna. I'm here at Bodine Seafood, my favorite place to get my seafood. Their food quality is great and the help is fantastic. And I typically get my tuna here because they've always got a good selection of what we call yellowfin tuna, or you might know it as ahi tuna. Today, they've got one step above that ahi tuna, that yellowfin, and it's called big eye tuna. You can see it right here in the showcase. It is beautiful pieces. They do a nice job cutting pieces and preparing them. Most of the time, you can buy one of those pieces, about a pound, and split it easily among two people, sometimes among three people. Because with tuna, you don't need a big piece. You can usually get away with a pretty small piece of tuna because you're gonna have a lot of salad and veggies and bread and some really good wine. Tuna is something for a, for a really good palate. It's not something you scarf down, it's something you enjoy slowly. If you're not a big fish fan, that's okay. This does not taste like a fish. If it's done well, it tastes like a fantastic steak. One more thing I want you to know about is you're probably going to want to pick up from your real high quality butcher or seafood establishment their homemade seasoning. We're, I'm going to show you how we prepare this, but prior to grilling, we're going to rub this seasoning into the outside of our tuna, and then we're going to grill it. The seasoning brings out all the flavor of the tuna, and it's typically fantastic. It's only about $4 for a seasoning like this. This lasts me probably five months, and I use a lot of it. So don't be afraid to add a little bit of cost to your tuna and get a little bit of seasoning. Now let's talk about the cost of tuna. You're going to spend some money on tuna. Typically, yellowfin tuna is about $24 or $25 per pound. I know that seems expensive, but realize you're not eating a big steak. You're going to have a nice, small, six-ounce piece of tuna. The one we're going to look at today is actually $31 a pound because it's a step above. It's a, it's a little rarer cut. It's fantastic. I promise you that if you buy this tuna, buy a pound, even cut it into thirds where each person's getting a little over six ounces, maybe an eight ounce piece, they're going to love it. People are going to love your tuna. I think you should be excited about these next two. We're going to start with how do you select it, how do you cook it, and then what's the best way to build the sauce to dip it in. Thank you.